Well, the, the houses that were right behind uh, this O'Sullivan's, there's a couple of little houses. Did widows stay in those houses? There was people living in all, all over the place at that time. Yeah. The, the place was full of houses. They were packed together up there. And Dublin Ghost ran up from the Kelly Mine. It, it, you crossed the tracks and you went into Dublin Ghost there. And when they showed on the paper now that they'd have it down to the Dorothy Block on Granite Street. <laughs> yeah. So the so Dublin Gulch in your mind started on the other side of the tracks. That's where, where, that's where the where Kelly is and went went up from and the went Kelly. Up, went right up through the gulch there and there. And I had relatives living up there, their name was Powers. Did you go up to the gulch quite often? Went up there once in a while. Yeah. I see. Did you ever climb around in the steam tunnels? No. Or the, they didn't do any of that. I went through the tunnels where the trains went through there. Yeah. Like going out the west side from, from near the original there. You could go out underneath Montana Street out. Uh, prospecting out in the Missoula Gulch, you know. Did you, uh, in your mind, Wyoming Street was in Corktown or was it in Dublin Gulch? Uh, Wyoming Street ran right a couple across the tracks. And, uh, and Dublin, it, it wasn't called Dublin Gulch. It was just Wyoming Street. And then the top of it was Corktown? Corktown was, was, was the, the tracks all along there coming over from Main Street, all through that district. Was, was Corktown. Okay. Uh, well, back in the neighborhood then, when you went uh, went east from your house over to Wyoming Street, did you ever hang out around the uh, the fin the finish the fin the finish hall? The fin hall? Yeah. yeah. Oh, sure. Can you tell us what what was that like? The fin hall was on Wyoming Street. It was right above the steel block. Uh -huh. Now, do you know where the steel block was? No. That's where they took Little out of his bed there. Dragged him back in behind a car and killed him. And the Fen Hall was right above it, and it was a, a two-story building, a big wooden frame house. And every Saturday night, the Fens had come up there from a Fen Town. The Fen Town was over on the east side here. So what? What was there? Like a dance hall up on the second and floor? The, and the first floor. The first floor had the dance hall. Oh. Big dance hall there. And what was on the second floor? I don't remember what they had up there. Were there offices up there maybe? I couldn't tell you what was up there. I never was up there. Did you ever see people from the Pierce Conley go up to the Fen Hall? No. Did you ever Did you ever just sit around and watch who came and went? Uh, what, what kind of people? Well, we, we'd watch them. I was going around. My, my pals there at that time were, uh, they were, my buddies were Fens, you know. They were, They were, their name were Hoodnans. It was Arthur Hoodnan. He was my age. So we, we hung out together every day. We'd be out someplace together. Yeah. Did you, ever, you, did you go inside Fen Hall? Uh, no, I never went in the Fen Hall, but I did go in the steel block. I, uh, I, a cousin to my father was living right in the front of the steel block there. What was that like? It was a, a big room and house that ran from, from Wyoming Street back to the alley there. Just a long stairway going upstairs, or was it closed down at the bottom? Was it? Could you just kind of go in and out of there? You could, you could go in and out of there. Them places were never locked, you know. So they, they can't tell you that they broke in there and, and, and took a little out of his bed because they didn't, they didn't have to do it. I see. Them places were, were, were open, except you if you used a skeleton key, there was a lock on the door. One key to open half of the town in beauty, you know. <laughs> <laughs> well, do you remember farther down uh, Wyoming, down by the Finland Hotel? Was there a garage down there where they kept Cadillacs? Do there you was remember a, that? Yeah, there was. Yeah, there was a. I don't know what they kept there, but then there was a there was a, a station there, like like a gas station. Uh -huh right across from the Finland and, and uh, the Mount Vue block. Uh, in fact, Scott Smith that owns this place right now, he owns that place across from the Finland. Did you ever go into those places when uh, you were a kid? No, I didn't go into that place. No, I never went in there, but 
No, th that was the don't, that was the first place that had where you could put air and tires in Butte. It was, it was right there. I never saw. It. There was no other. Is now is that was that where the Broadway garage is now? Oh no. This is a different. This was place. right across the street from. The so that garage was across uh, Broadway from the Finnegan. Right across Broadway, yeah. And the smokehouse mine was there where the uh, coal was at. Uh, and you could uh, watch them working there at the, at, the, at the mine. And them days, the gallus room was there and everything. Well, did you ever go up from your house just right up the hill to the steward? Did you ever hang around the steward? Oh, mine? we didn't go into the steward yard. No, the ACM put big fences around the yards. And they had a watchman with, with his home right inside there, you know. So we never, we never, we never bothered. But they'd, they'd, they'd throw all them powder boxes out over the fence, you know, and, down, and they'd come down to the, roll down to the tracks, and the women would all run out the gates there on Woman Street, and they'd fight over them wooden boxes that were good for firewood, you know, and it was all coal and wood stove because the, the gas didn't come in here until about 1929 or 1930 from Cutbank. Well, did you remember in those days, well, well first of all, you're, you're, you were living down on Woolman when the Miners' Union riots took place? Yeah. Is that where you were living? So you were living right below the Stewart and you were two blocks above the Miners' Union Hall on, on, Mon on Main. On Main Street, yeah. So. Do you remember the day of the Miners' Union Parade? Do you remember the parade? Yeah, I remember. There was, there was no miners in the parade that day. But well, wasn't there a couple leading the parade, uh, riding a horse? There, uh, I, there, there, could, there, was, there was other other people in that parade besides them that weren't, that weren't miners, you know. Uh -huh. And anyway, after the parade was over then, they went up there and they uh, broke into the into the miners' union hall, and they, they threw out the safe out the front and out the window. And, and anyway, they didn't do very much that day. But there was a. It, the news came in here. Butte and in a week or ten days or something after then that the, the, the metal went miners union the metal miners workers union had gotten a charter over in Helda and then they went up there and and them them weren't miners either them were Pinkertons or somebody or ACM gunmen and they went up to the to the steward and they had the engineer roar them down and get all the powder they wanted. Out of the shaft, went down the shaft? Out, out to the powder house down in the, in the, in the station down in the, in the steward. And then and they got the powder and caps, and then they came down Main Street and they blasted the building down. And I was watching them blast that building down. Every time that they'd, they'd go to put the blast off, the, them guys, it worked. Revolvers out and, and, and fire shots in the air, so everybody'd run back, you know, where they where they wouldn't get hurt. And then the blast would go off. But, uh, miners didn't pack guns around town, you know. It had to be uh, SEM gunmen was packing guns. So they, the guns they had were revolvers, then. Yeah. You didn't notice. You didn't know if there were eight shot or six shots. Oh, well, I, would, I wouldn't know that. You know. Uh, so, so that first day when the parade was taking place, where, where were you when you were watching the parade? I, I went down to, down to, down, down to the park and to Broadway around. So you just moved around the moved crowd? around town, yeah. And so the parade came down Main Street? The, the parade used to, the, the parades used to go through Park Street. Uh -huh. the, the Fourth of July parades and, and all of them went through Park Street in the early days. So the parade went across on Park. 
it, and it, 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 it come from the east on Park and then go up to, to Broadway and over and down Montana Street and back through Park Street. Okay, so was there gunfire that day up in front of the library on Broadway? No, I didn't hear any You didn't gunfire. hear any? No. But what, there was a big fight, wasn't there? I couldn't tell you that. I didn't see any fight. Yeah. Well, what made you think there was no miners in the parade? How did you know that? Well, I didn't see any miners there. But there was a parade. There was other there was people. A, there was a parade of people, yeah. Okay. But you don't know who there were, you know. So where were you? Where were you when you? Uh, ten days later, when the expo when they blew up the miners in your hall, where were you standing then? Well, I was I was up in the corner of Woman in Wyoming, watching down. Woman in Wyoming or Woman in Maine? Woman in Maine, I mean, yeah. Which corner? Uh, uh, the east side. East side. We lived at Forty Seven East. Uh, Woman. So you watched the men actually drive. Did they did they bring the powder out in cars and trucks or just walk with they, it? They, they packed it down there. On their backs or in their carrying it. Packed in boxes. You know, boxes. So how many men do you think were carrying powder? Well, they were just doing three or four. You know. And did they keep coming back for more? No, they didn't. They had they had guns. You know, they, nobody bothered them because they were they were gunmen. I see. So. So when they blew up the Miners Union, they used the uh, the dynamite that was in three or four cases. Is about how much dynamite they used. Yeah, and, and it took them it took them quite a long time. Yeah, it took quite a while. You had to blow the the building up. Like, did you see the, the picture of it in the, the yes. paper a couple of days ago? That's just how it was. Okay, and they fired their weapons every time they get ready to shoot. The people that fired a few shots in the air and the people had all run back behind the buildings there to get away from it. Yeah. And, and the reason you think they were not miners but that they were Pinkertons or company men was just the way they were dressed or the guns? No, they, or what they, was they, they, packed, they packed guns. The miners in Butte never went around with guns on their hips. Yeah. Nobody paid